Both federal and state laws prohibit an employer from discriminating against an employee based on an employee's race, sex, age, national origin, religion, or disability. And some cities and counties have additional protections that prohibit employers from discriminating against an employee based on sexual orientation. The first thing you need to understand about discrimination claims, though, is that they're different than in a lot of other types of legal claims. As a general rule, an attorney can't simply go out and file a discrimination lawsuit for you. You know, the first step is basically for an employee to file what is known as a charge of discrimination with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, otherwise known as the EEOC. And the EEOC conducts an investigation. They'll get your side of the story. They'll contact your employer, get your employer's side of the story, or your former employer's side of the story. And ultimately, they'll issue a determination. Now, usually in conjunction with that determination, they'll send you in the mail a notice called the Notice of Right to Sue. And under federal law, it's only after you've received that Notice of Right to Sue that you and an attorney can ultimately file an actual discrimination lawsuit in the court. And remember, you only have 90 days from the date you receive that notice to file the lawsuit. If you think you've been discriminated against at work, I invite you to either fill out our client questionnaire on this website by clicking the free case evaluation button or contact us through the contact page. After we get the appropriate initial information, one of our, uh, one of our employment attorneys will review it and get back to you either by email or by telephone with a response. Feel free to contact us. We're happy to help you.